Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASHTO T89 Determining the Liquid Limit of Soils This video demonstrates the determination of liquid limit using method B, the one point method. Prepare the soil sample by processing it over the number 40 sieve. Obtain about 60 to 110 grams of soil passing the number 40 sieve. Place the soil in a porcelain mixing dish. Add water and mix thoroughly. Continue adding water in 1 to 3 milliliter increments and mixing the soil until a stiff, uniform consistency is achieved. If too much water is added, do not add additional soil. Simply stir the soil until the excess water is removed by natural evaporation. For soils that are slow to absorb moisture, season the soil by placing it in a closed container. The required seasoning time for referee testing is 30 minutes. Record the tin number of a clean, dry, moisture tin. Zero the scale and place the tin on the scale platform. Record the empty or tear weight of the tin. Mix the soil thoroughly. Fill the cup with soil to approximately two-thirds full. Spread the soil with a spatula to avoid entrapping air pockets. Use as few strokes as possible. Adjust the depth of the soil to 10 millimeters by pressing down on the spatula and removing the excess soil. Excess soil should be returned to the mixing dish. Cover the unused soil to retain moisture. Cut a groove along the center line of the cup using a firm stroke of the grooving tool, cleanly dividing the soil. Check the soil depth when cutting the groove. Since the curved grooving tool is 10 millimeters thick, its top surface indicates the target soil level. If the soil is not at the proper depth, remove it from the cup, then clean the cup, grooving tool, and spatula, and try again. Turn the crank at two revolutions per second and count the number of blows. Do not hold the base while turning the crank. Watch the soil as it closes together. Stop turning the crank at a 13 millimeter or approximately half an inch closure, which should be achieved within the range of 22 to 28 blows. The end of the curved grooving tool is 13 millimeters and may be used to compare the length of the closure to. Note the first blow count. Remove the soil from the cup and clean the cup, grooving tool, and spatula. If the blow count is outside 22 to 28, adjust the moisture content of the soil appropriately and repeat the test. A blow count of more than 28 indicates that the soil was too dry, while a blow count of less than 22 indicates that the soil was too wet. Remix the soil. When the blow count is within 22 to 28, immediately verify the blow count by rerunning the test without adding any additional water to the mixing dish. Place the soil to a depth of 10 millimeters in the cup. Run a verification test. Cut a groove along the center line. Turn the crank at two blows per second and watch for a 13 millimeter closure. The verification closure must be within 22 to 28 blows and plus or minus two blows of the previous count. Once a valid verification test has been achieved, record the verification count. Remove a moisture content specimen across the point of closure by removing a slice of soil approximately the width of the spatula blade from edge to edge, including the area where the soil flowed together. Place the specimen into the moisture tin. To prevent weighing errors, clean the exterior of the tin before weighing. Place the lid on the tin. Zero the scale and place the tin on the scale platform. Record the tear plus wet weight. Remove the lid, placing it underneath the tin. 
place the tin in the oven and dry at a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the tin with sample from the oven. Place the lid on the tin and cool to room temperature. As soon as the tin and sample are at room temperature, which should take approximately 5 to 10 minutes, zero the scale and place the tin with the dry sample on the scale platform. Record the tear plus dry weight of the tin. Calculate the moisture content of the specimen according to Ashto T265. Correct the moisture content to represent 25 blows by using a nomograph or by multiplying the moisture content by the appropriate K factor. Report the liquid limit of the soil to the nearest whole number. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.